for subscribing to my youtube channel how is everyone i hope you're all well i'm sending my love i know we're still in the middle of pandemic but you know what everything will be okay inshallah um thank you to my new subscribers i appreciate you so much welcome to my youtube channel um this is actually like this video is gonna be a sweet one a quick one a very quick one <laughs> um so basically someone asked me on instagram how do you recharge your energy i'm assuming when they said energy they meant good energy and um i'm here i'm here to tell you spill the tea and tell you all about it i can only speak for me i think everyone's energy is different but my energy hmm, let me tell you something some people actually think you wake up and you're like whoa let's get it let's get that day let's, that's not how it works if it worked like that I would have had my coffee on sale by now. I would have had my t-shirts on sale by now. I would have had hundred thousand pounds in my bank account by now. What's the case? Yo Ben. It happens, okay? Um <laughs> things with like you know getting your energy right and like exercising eating well if i did all of that on point then you know your girl would have been like rolling with the the latest car and now i'm ahead everyone coughing everyone coughing literally when i commute because i'm like i'm down the train like <coughs> and they don't even wear masks you know but it's okay inshallah like i have no problem me no problem with taking the train okay i have no problem with that but it's just my point is I'm not where I want to be in life and um, I think with my age I'm 28 and it's quite common in this age as well to not know where you are and where you where you're going what is happening it's just it's that age you know you can see 30 but you're not you're not 30 but you can literally see 30 you're like hello <laughs> is that you oh my god just the thought of it I'm not I like I feel like I'm going to my age don't get me wrong I have no problem with it but let me get back to the point. I'm not where I want to be in life. But with that being said, like in terms of energy, what helps me personally to stay in a good energy or just stay upbeat or whatever is dancing. <laughs> okay, okay. I got excited. I apologize uh, for all of that. Um, <sighs> that get me in a good mood. But... There's just so many things, but definitely for me, it's dancing, it's um, getting up and motivating myself because this year is trying every single person. Let me catch my breath. The sister who uh, who asked me that question, that's one thing that keeps me stay upbeat and that's definitely like dancing um, to different types of music. Uh, it keeps me like, you know, stay upbeat. You know, and then once I start dancing, I, I end up like cleaning the house. I end up like doing my hair. I, I have a curly hair, so it takes me ages to actually do my hair. I'll do my hair, and the next thing I know, I'm I'm like, okay, cool. Let me just do at least one meeting today. So that those are the few things that help me. That's that definitely dancing. Another thing that helps me like recharge my energy is just taking time off from social media and spending time with my mom cooking for my friends going for walks going to london bridge going to south bank um um like just walk do you know what i mean like go walk <laughs> like walking helps me um because i get my thoughts together i notice stuff i see things in a different light 
it helps me you know i put music if i put just put my headphones and i just walk if you do have a company that's amazing as well and if you don't you know what it's all good walk uh by yourself it's a good way to get a fresh air instead of staying indoors um that's one thing that helps me get my energy right i get motivated by like seeing sceneries I'm like, so i try just like go for a walk watch people to get like inspired it's so random but not in a creepy way we're not trying to do like that you know because i do stare people sometimes which is not good um so that's another thing another way that i get recharged um the third way will probably be like watching documentaries because i'm really passionate about humanitarian um um the humanitarian field so i will watch a documentary about like you know domestic violence or i would watch a documentary about the environment or i'll watch a documentary about like uh, colonialism in in africa and then try to new clones if it old new try to understand a bit more and see like the roots of some of the problems that we have in the world and that way I, by the end of that documentary i already know who to contact i know which workshop to do I know what to do next because I'm like, this is not on. Mm -hmm. You're going to do this. This is unacceptable. And it motivates me to do something. So watching document Netflix is really good. <laughs> this is not a promotion video, but Netflix is a good way to start like watching and um, figuring out like, you know, uh, finding out more information. So yeah, that's another thing. I think the fourth, is it the fourth one? I, I've lost count. <laughs> the last thing that helps me recharged is definitely like um hearing my mom's stories like, yeah i'm in a privileged position where i get to speak to my mom and you know she tells me stories about my my life when i was young and how i was born in a in during a, a civil war um how i'm a war child and um the environment that i was in when i was a baby um and that motivates me to to do better as, as a person but also to do things for people who are in those positions right now but who are also not in a so privileged position who don't have access to water or food or shelter so she also reminds me of like you know keeping myself together because i think with the pandemic or if you did have a mental breakdown in the past which i can I, you know i'm not ashamed of it like I, we all had our breakdowns i i did have my breakdowns and i think my mom was the one who would just to tell me like you know everything will be okay um inshallah like and this is just a part of life is experiencing some some pain and uh, you just learn from it and you grow and you'll be okay so i'm very privileged to have that communication and those communications is what recharges my energy and i'm just like oh my god like i really want my mom to see me at my best i want i want i want to spoil her as well um and buy stuff for her it's like you know and if i'm in a better position i'm able to do those things and also to provide for my parents as and also my dad and they don't have to work you know it's, it's really really sad to see um them working like it's not sad because the, my parents are really really young but i just want to be able to be uh, financially uh, in a good place in the next few years where they don't then i can pay off the house or things like that so yeah that's another thing that gives me an energy uh, i would say like definitely the last thing that keeps me recharged or gives me energy is that how much women um fought to be in the position that we're in right now not just in this country around the world as well and i really want to make a difference in their lives and i want to be able to um create like more changes in the world so that that boosts my energy i'm like mm -hmm, who am i gonna who am i gonna come for next because things need to change whether that is through domestic violence or whether that is um creating awareness about sanitation whether that is volunteering that i do offline um which i'm really really proud of but then i don't have to be on social media to tell everyone what i do privately but for me I'm taking my volunteering very very seriously and volunteering in general just gives me that extra extra boost to, to see the actual difference because if you just donate money via bank then it's quite you get comfortable because it's just a bank you won't see the difference that money is making so i urge you sometimes to do volunteering whether that is in the food bank or in homeless play uh, charity with homeless charities 
um, or with charities that work with women um, or animals, whatever whatever you're comfortable with or whatever changes that you want to create in the world that helps volunteering even once once a month would transform your life so yeah definitely anyway that's me ranting ranting i just want to say thank you so much thank you for tuning into my channel thank you so much for um subscribing and yes i'll see you next week Mwah.